All right, now we're going to go up to Lake of the Woods to check in with Joe Henry from Lake of the Woods Tourism. Joe, a lot of times people talk about the rainy river when you're talking about fall or spring, but you're we're talking about Lake of the Woods, and you can still catch a lot of fish on the lake up there, can't you? So true, so true. You know, the rainy river is an awesome, awesome tradition. Emerald shiners are running up. You got walleye falling up. That's a, that's a go-to spot for fall fishing, no doubt about it. But in addition to that, there are a lot of walleyes that will never run up the Rainy River, but they still got the feed bag on. So when you talk about fish in the lake, or maybe that run hasn't happened quite yet, or maybe it's not in full-fledged run, you can get out in that lake of the woods, and I'll tell you what, there's fish that are setting up in big schools, Brett. For instance, right now, and you've experienced this, when you go out of the Lighthouse Gap, out in front of that Pine Island Lighthouse Gap area, in about 22 to 29 feet of water, there's boats that are anchoring up, and jigging over the side of the boat. First off, what fun fishing, what relaxing fishing. But they're they're doing that, and uh, they're catching a lot of fish. The interesting thing is, some of the people are complaining because they have to catch so many fish to get their eaters, <laughs> which, which is kind of interesting because they're, they're throwing back so many smalls. You know. Now, the other thing is, that whole south shoreline, uh, schools of walleyes are setting up. When I say they're setting up, what I mean is there's various schools all the way in front of Pine Island down to the Morris Point Gap, Zippo Bay, Long Point, and then, of course, Rocky Point. But that whole stretch is holding different pods of walleyes. And it's just a matter of watching your electronics, going out to you know the, the, the proper depth. And, and, and the depths across, like if they're 22 to 29 out in front of the Lighthouse Gap, there's a good chance when you go down to Zippo Bay, there's going to be fish in that same range, right? Um, I would say the other thing is not to forget about the Northwest Angle this time mm. of year. Man alive, it's different. Um, it's different up there because of all the structure. But I'll tell you what, uh, there's there was some good walleye fishing up there. You know, uh, neck down areas between islands where there's a little bit of current, points, um, uh, uh, the, the, the openings to bays, uh, a lot of times the shiners will school and, and bays up there. And those walleyes will slide into the mouth of bays to, to get after those shiners. So there's a lot of go-to areas up there too. And uh, you know, I know some spots up there where you can go and throw the old hook, throw that anchor, and you can sit there all day and just pick away at them. And it's a blast. Hmm. Well, it's not too early to start thinking about ice fishing up there too, uh, Joe. When Historically, when do people start, you know, when is there good enough ice to start fishing up there? Yeah, that's a really, really good question. You know, um, traditionally, about that December 10th, is when resorts start getting their day houses out. Aren't the, not the big sleepers, but they're their day houses that you fish for the day, and you know, and uh, that's going to be around December tenth. Some years it's a little earlier, some years a little later. Now before that, there are a couple of resorts that do some spearing for pike, mm. and they'll get out usually at the end of November on the back bays. And I got to be careful, you know, when you're going out with those resorts, any resort, whether it's for spearing or or whether it's for uh, angling use the resort don't go off on your own you know they might have they might have a path uh, a little ways out on the lake and and they're fishing 22 feet of water 20 feet of water whatever the case might be don't think that you can go out on their path and then angle off over there because that might be thin ice that might have just froze over their paths are marked for a reason they're taking a lot of tlc and keeping people safe but the only way they can keep you safe is to stay in the trail yeah, for sure. Well, if people want to start planning a trip for ice fishing at Lake of the Woods, or if they want to get up there and fish the lake, the Angle, or the Rainy River this fall, where should they go for more info? You get the best spot, Brett, check out our website, and that is lakeofthewoodsmn.com. This has been the Finding Fins Fishing Podcast, part of the Sporting Journal Radio family. Subscribe wherever you get podcasts or go to FindingFins.com and make sure to like our sponsors. If you want to have success fishing in Minnesota, you have to go where the fish are. And there may be no lake with more fish in it than Lake of the Woods. Not just big numbers of walleye, sauger, perch, eel pout, pike, muskie, bass, and sturgeon, but numbers of big fish too. Between the Rainy River, the main lake, and the Northwest Angle, you have over 50 resorts to choose from. Guided fishing allows for heated transportation to heated fish houses. Learn how to book a trip now at lakeofthewoodsmn.com. That's lakeofthewoodsmn.com.